Exes Gemma and Jack Hartz raced the most for each other during the striptease challenge in Tuesday's Love Island, with the rugby ace admitting he had sex flashbacks after seeing her in stockings and suspenders. Michael Owen's daughter, 19, and her former flame, 23, were left red-faced when the announcement was read out, but just hours before the true feelings were exposed, the pair feuded over the reason for their historic split with Gemma telling Jack to FK off after he called her a clown. Having come face to face earlier in the series following the end of their relationship a year and a half ago, Gemma insisted she couldn't trust him, but Jack hit back saying, I didn't give you any reason not to trust me. When she argued, well I thought you did, he opposed her claims with, well I didn't. That's why it ended cause we couldn't agree. She fought back, there's no point in us having this conversation cause you're gonna say one thing and I'm gonna say another. If you don't have anything nice to say you can fk off. Walking off, Jack said, you're a clown, shut up, before she asked, what? Gemma explained to Luca separately about her split with Jack, if you wanna go out occasionally with the lads, I'm 100% not gonna tell you otherwise, but when he leant in and joked, can you meet with me halfway there? The irritated teen swiftly swatted him away with her hand, telling him, concentrate when I'm speak, she continued, with Jack, at the end of the relationship, I did not trust him. It's annoying cause no one else has to deal with their ex-boyfriend feeding ST into you. However, it seems their tiff didnt damaged their lingering feeling for one another since it was soon revealed that their hearts raced fasted for one other in the striptease challenge. Lucas Hart raced the most for Gemma, for Charlie it was India, Jay, Gemma, Danny, Paige, David, Ekan Sue, Andrew, Danica and Jack, Gemma. Meanwhile, Danica got most excited for David, Paige, Luca, India, Andrew, Tasha, Andrew, Antigoli, Jackies, Ekan Sue, Luca, Gemma, Jack. Leading the pack was Ekan Sue who donned a stunning bridal costume, Tasha who was dressed in a Barbie-inspired leotard and Paige who did her best Pamela Anderson impression in a Baywatch-style swimsuit. Islanders' saucy outfits also included Dami as a lab technician, Jay as a cowboy and David as a mysterious masked bandit. The Italian stallion was dressed in a pair of tiny black PVC hot pants and fingerless gloves along with a matching cloak as he transformed into fictional character Zorro. Charlie appeared to go for a butler in the buff look as he showed off his physique in a pair of black trousers with a white collar and bow tie. However his awkward performance left the girls cringing, Paige wore a bright red high-cut one-piece swimsuit while Tasha sported the same outfit in hot pink. Tasha whipped her hair across Dami's chest as he sat back in his seat outside in the villa garden while David looked on with a broad grin across his face. Dami soon changed into a pair of black PVC hot pants of his own as he stripped off to display his muscular physique before straddling one of the girls for a dance. Jay danced shirtless in a straw cowboy-style hat while Ekan Sue was seen sucking on his finger. Gemma was dressed in a devil-inspired costume as she sported a black leotard with matching tights along with a red jacket and a matching paddle. Afterwards, an upset Paige confronted her partner Jacques over the result of the challenge, with him confessing, it brought a flashback, if you've slept with someone of course it's gonna happen. Tasha was left disheartened after learning that Andrew's heart raced the most for Danica, telling him she feels stupid and it it makes me wonder if you do fancy her a bit. Despite his reassurances, she told him, it's just ST to hear, I wanted to hear my name for you. You would have felt the same if you'd heard someone else's name, I get it's a game but there's still truth behind it. It makes me wonder if you do fancy her a bit, I just feel stupid cause I did all my makeup and wore all this for nothing. I know it's a game but it's f asterisking stupid. Clearly their relationship had been blossoming in the bedroom, with Andrew bragging to the other boys that she had gotten his Bunsen burner out, although it didnt appear that he was talking about laboratory equipment. He said, she said she wants tunnel vision on me, shush is happy with us and wants to see where this will go. So obviously I'm buzzing, I'm tunnel vision as well, not gonna lie, there is a bit of chemistry talk. She definitely got my Bunsen burner out, I went to sleep a happy man. Danica risked the wrath of Tasha as the bombshell set her sights on Andrew after giving him a very raunchy lap dance during the challenge. Danica pulled Andrew for a chat to admit how she felt, telling him, I do fancy you, just a day after he and Tasha seemed to be back on track, with the blonde dancer finally putting all her eggs into Andrew's basket following the arrival of Charlie. Starting her morning with a pep talk from Ekan Sue, Danica said, you are a bombshell, remember? 
you are a bomb, shell, you came in a shell, but we don't see the bomb exploding. Danica agreed, yeah the bomb exploded and then it just died down, well not anymore, hun. Fresh from being pumped up, Danica pulled Andrew for a chat, and laid her cards on the table, saying, you are a fully grown man, you will do whatever you want to do, but actually, I just need to be honest with you and what I feel and what vibe I get. I do enjoy getting to know you. Andrew agreed, yeah, I do enjoy our chats to be fair, while Danica continues, obviously, I think this is more for me to just let you know I do fancy you, I'm open to getting to know you a bit more, I enjoy our conversations, you make me feel very comfortable and I'm just letting you know so you've got the heads up. Finally, Love Island shared a preview of Wednesday's show which will see the girls choose which boys they want to recouple with. David and Jay are stuck in a love triangle with Ikan Su, as they admit she has all the power, however the confused Turkish actress admits, I don't know. I just don't know. Love Island next airs Tuesday night at 9pm on ITV2 and ITV Hub.